Very nice doors, though. Oh, hang on. Oh crap, that opened. Uh oh. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. Something tells me that was, um, not supposed to happen. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Oh. Look, filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. I can't do that. Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. No. He isn't. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? Uh, Marie, yeah. Saw someone's eyes. Oh, I saw through someone's eyes. She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Mm. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. Oh dear. You might need my help. Hmm. All right. all right. Yeah, sure. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go. Rescue the doctor. Thank you, Drake. Mm hmm. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, God. All right. We're going back again? Ah, oh dear. So, that's three chapters in the Riverside Institute. The book projected Pierce into the body of Dr. Colden. The detective watched helplessly as Bradley's friend carried out her inquiry. Confronted with the experiments of Fuller, she got into his office and discovered that the director of the Riverside Institute was hiding information on, if not the body of, Sarah Hawkins. But she was discovered by Fuller. Pierce must save her before it's too late. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, boy. And now we have to sit through waiting. Again. I mean, to be fair, the chapter might load. Like, it might take a while to load. But thankfully, there's not loading screens, you know, every five minutes that are this length. It's just for... It's for the entirety of the chapter. So... Can't really get too mad. It is having to load a lot of stuff. At the same time, you know, like, PS2 games did not have this much loading. And they did not take this long to load. Which is probably the weirdest thing. Like, back then, when those games came out, they were considered, you know, the pinnacle of graphics and everything. But they didn't have any sort of performance issues. Like, maybe the frame rate would dip a bit. But aside from that, the game loaded, the loading screens lasted barely any time at all. And that was that. And that was on hardware that's incredibly weak by comparison to what we use now. But no, like, as we as we get further into like, higher graphic graphical fidelity games, the longer it takes to actually load the pieces of crap. It just kind of sucks. Like, why can't we have games that look this great, but load as quickly as PS2 slash PS1 games did. It's just really dumb. Oh, never mind. So our objective is to save Mary. 
wonder how difficult that's going to be. Probably very, considering I can't fight. Normally going in guns are blazing is my, uh, my forte, but this I have to sneaky sneak instead. So this is the Hawkins mansion, right? There are going to be signs of abduction or something. Oh god. I pray that Colden is really here. And alive. <gasps> We're at the Riverside Institute. Oh shit. Four character points. Oh boy. Downside is I still need six. What'd be better? Investigation. Or that. I mean, I'm, pro I'm a professional in a, a lot of things. Hmm. I don't really know. Investigation or hot spot hidden? I'm going for spot hidden. I always forget I have to press start. Oh. Oh. I'm still shaking. But. <laughs> God, my uh, sanity is definitely dropping. So Pierce has read the ne Necronomicon, drawn by the whispering of the accursed book. He forced the bookseller's safe, touched the skin binding, and deciphered the last words of the crazed Abdul Alhaz Alhazred. As if an answer to the questions that Pierce was asking himself, the book sucked into his mind and projected it into the body of Colden. Silent witness to his own investigation, he followed her steps into the cellars of the Riverside Institute and her confrontation with Fuller. Returned to his own body, Pierce slowly comes to understand that his investigation is taking him into unknown territory. The words of the Necronomicon still echo in his mind. Will he ever forget that horrifying read? Probably not. You have a lot of stuff to read. We have Algonon Drake. Algonon Drake is the owner of the Nameless Bookstore and a friend of Sarah Hawkins. It would seem that the two of them were united, united in a common thirst for knowledge about the occult. He has a strange collection of parchments and books of spells, and he seems to know a lot about the island's clandestine activities. If I decide to explore the occult trail, trail, he will be an excellent guide. Oops, press the wrong button. Right, so we have the Riverside Institute. Through the eyes of Dr. Colden, I finally visi visited the Riverside Institute. The operating rooms and dormitories surround the pharmacy. Everything here has an air of respectability. Do n the nurses really know, like Dr. Colden, what's going on in the cellars? What is sure is that the staff fear Fuller. It is perhaps this fear that prevents them questioning the validity of a medical center of this size on such a small island. Oh wow. The Ascent. What the hell is all this? When they will have consumed the stellar flesh and survived the transformation, Closer than ever to their new master, they will enter this, this, his sleep of death, will only awaken to answer his call. They will be the awakened. Oh wow. Cthulhu! Oh, we don't even get to read that. Take it from the Necronomicon. Elder Sign. Men discovered a protective symbol, so powerful that it could remove them from the gaze of creatures of the myth. They carved it into their jewels, painted it on the doors of their houses, and embroidered it into their clothing, or onto on the clothing of their children. Later, they understood that it could even exercise its power on the doors of the sunken city. We have the Necronomicon. The words that follow are not really mine. They were communicated to me in my dreams and trances by the greatest minds of the co in the cosmos. I take advantage of these moments of lucidity that grows ever shorter to write down these few scraps from the immense knowledge that they send crashing against my broken mind night after night. I can only leave these crumbs of knowledge to the world in the hope that reading them will guide men, but I already fear that unholy words will stain the soul of whoever dares open this accursed collection, because just like prisoners whose confessions were written on their own skin, I shall protect my heritage beyond the ages." Damn. And the High Priest. The call cannot be made without a guide. The guide does not have to see or to hear. He is fully committed to the cause of the Great Old One that he serves. He will find the Oracle. He will pursue the truth seeker, he will neither reveal nor explain, he will observe. And when the stars align and the day of awakening arrives, he will take his his place and lead the call. Man, things are getting real interesting. So it would seem. Cool. 
So like, I'm just wondering, like, what is it I'm doing? Does it even matter? Oh wait, I can open up his desk now. Could not do that before. Aha! Bidding. Diary of a pastor's wife, of course. The diary of Reverend Wickwood's wife. Her husband John built the first Hawkins home, called Hilltop, at the end of the 17th century. They were among the first white colonists of the island. The previous inhabitants disappeared mysteriously three centuries earlier. Old diary. Oh. Sleeping pills. Fuller, too. Small bottle of sleeping pills probably used on the patients who have trouble sleeping to find slumber. Anything else? Hmm. Okay, that's also locked. Do I have to go the same way that Colden did? Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I'm just like, I don't really want to get spotted. I do now understand why they, um, have the lockers literally everywhere. That opens. Luckily, there's nobody inside. Hmm. Well, I wonder if them guys are just talking. I wonder. Here they are. <laughs> Could just do whatever I want. I really didn't look around that much. I always hate leaving things not- oh! Oh Christ, really? <sighs> Another book. Sure. May as well. This will affect my destiny. Volume 3. This collection catalogues and classifies creatures that I have never heard of. Divinities from the stars, creatures capable of travelling from one dimension to another. It prevents itself as a reference work of the bestiary of the myth without giving details on the mythology. To which it refers, its pages are covered with phantasmagorical illustrations. Oh god, I fucking forgot about the noise it made. Jesus. I am an expert. I don't think I'll get to 100. But it will affect my destiny. Hmm, yes. Alright. I don't think it really matters how loud I am. I do think that guy would probably see me, though. Oh, I can't go through here. What? I can't go through there either. Literally everything's blocked off. Bullshit. Yeah, they don't see me. Okay, cool. Right, my only place to go is downwards. Are you serious? To me. Oh boy. I'm going crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. Oh, hang on. Wait. What happened? Something has changed, but what? Huh? Oh, I'm confused. Very confused. Okay, so that's like blocked off. I'm very confused. What the hell is wanting me to do? I think I'm being chased by the Shambler though. It's also blocked off. Also blocked off. Wants me to go in here, I guess. For what reason? For what purpose? I don't really understand. What is the point? 
of going in here. Um, not entirely sure. Like, I don't really see anything around here. Hmm. So I wonder if... No, I can't go through there. So that's... Mine, and I can switch to this. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, hold the phone. So if I switch to this, what's the difference? Oh! Oh, hang on. I think with this it lets me, like, have free reign. Essentially. But I can't go very far. I don't know if that is actually the case. It's just what I would assume. Follow this. Ah, uh, okay. Increase its brightness by pressing that. Oh god, that depletes it quick. Jesus. Oh, whoa. Right, okay. I mean, I can do that, but it didn't do anything. Oh. Where am I? Oh boy. Locked off. Also nothing. I was about to say, I do see this. The thing is, I don't know if it's leading me this way, or this way. Oh, if I actually got here, it actually refills. Oh! Okay, that's not so bad. Yeah, doing that does nothing. Right, so that's just replenishes brightness, I guess. I can go through here. Why would I want to? Wait, it just put me back in here. Is this not on the other side? I'm very confused. A little. Also nothing. Yeah, nothing I can really do much with. Hmm. So this is what gives me this. I'm trying to figure out what the hell it wants me to do. So if I go in here, it doesn't... Yeah, there's nothing here now. Unless... I mean, I highly doubt this, but... If I switch to this, does this change? Oh, it does. There's a door I can actually open now. But then if I go in here, I'm probably limited to where I can actually go to. I would guess. Lots of blocked off walls. Yeah, it's all blocked off. Right, okay. So now that door's open, I'm assuming I can go in there. What a very peculiar puzzle. Ah, oh, the, there we go. Door's open. Very nice. If I start to get low on oil, I'll just run back to there. It should be more than enough. Hmm. Alright. Ah, there it is, I guess. So now my question's where the hell am I going? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Francis Sanders. Oh, wow. Well, I can open this up. At the very least. Whoosh! Big on ya, fuck. Oh, nice. Wait. That's another... Was that another one? I'm very confused. This is a... Uh, interesting. To say the very least. Here we are. No, because it like points me over this way. Hmm. I mean, the, the benefit to this is I don't think there's actually anything to explore, so I don't really need to worry. Alright, I don't think it's anything to do with this. However, with this I can go all the way over here. Alright, nothing in here. Okay, also nothing. 
Huh. But I mean, with this one, it actually, you can see everything. With the other one, you can't see a thing. A damn thing. Still leads to nothing, though. Just dip on in here to get back to full. Oh, wait. Yeah, I just noticed this. Oh, boy. Wait, is that thing, like, alive? Maybe not alive, but I don't like it. Uh, not really. Hmm. It's just, I opened up a door and I saw the Shambler, I think. That does increase my brightness. Because I walked in here, and I saw it just straight ahead. Oh boy, how fun. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck it wants me to do. Oh, I can't run out over here. Okay, good. From over here, yeah, it starts to run down. If I run back to this... I'm good. Oh, right. Still trying to figure out what the fuck it wants me to... find. Oh, there we go. Back to the beginning! Confronting powers that surpass you. Hmm. I probably need the pink. Oh wait, maybe not. I can now get past this. Whatever that does. Oh. Oh shoot. Oh god, my um my light. I'm running low. If I could just head back to where that the pink one is. Phew! Close. Alright, so... I don't know if switching back to this is... If there's a point to it. But I do think I'm safe. In this... In this view. Because like, I can actually get into here. What is it I couldn't get to? Is there a door? That door's blocked off. I think both doors are actually blocked off. Oh no, only that one. There's a door I can open. Aha! This is not helping me though, considering. I need to get back to the green. Oh my god, it's all the way around. That's the worst. Oh well. One of those things, I guess. Hmm. So now I need to switch back to this. And also switch my view back to not being able to see a fucking thing. Right, so... So I can barely see. Oh fuck! Jesus! Oh! <laughs> oh, you're a fucking asshole. Oh, man. Alright, okay. So... Wait, no, what? I have to go behind the wall? Maybe I missed something. Oh, shit. It comes through there. I opened... Oh, I was gonna say, I opened a door. So what have I missed? There we go. Oh, God, my heart. <laughs> Am I finally out of that? Looks like things are back to fucking normal. shit. Holy Christ. Oh, of course it's locked behind me. How convenient. A goddamn shambler. What a prick. Oh my goodness. 
Either way, I made it through. That's all that matters. It definitely <laughs> shut me up there, that's for sure. Whew! I mean, I was quite surprised there wasn't a, a jump scare before that point. But then, you know. Wait. Now where am I? Oh, great. Nothing like making it even creepier. I can't open any doors. Does it matter which way I go? This is getting really quite creepy. It never ends. Just be persistent. Either that or I have to turn around. Oh. It doesn't matter. Okay, it really doesn't end, doesn't end, does it? But yeah, this is definitely starting to get real creepy. I can say that for sure. I'm like trying to see in any, any of all and all of these cells. Oh no! I can't even get my uh, my lantern out. Oh, that's a shame. Ba ba ba. <laughs> Unless I meant to go this way, and like me going to the left was wrong. I don't really know. I'll just run this direction for a while and then see what happens. I mean, nothing seems to be changing. Yeah. I can interact with all these doors, but nothing happens. Not really. I'm kind of confused. Nothing's happening. I'm just in a never-ending corridor. And I, I can't interact with any of the doors either. Unless... No. Thought maybe if I ran into one of them it'd work. Oh! Oh! What? Damnation. That's... That's me. Whoa! What the fuck? Oh god. Oh, we're in a... Oh, great. Yeah, I forgot we're claustrophobic. And we're in, like, a room with no door. Oh, great. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Who is that? Oh, God, that's creepy. Calden? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, Jesus. I finally know what's going on. You must live. And find the truth. It is already too late for me. Mate, she's dead? What's going on? What's oh my god. Hallucination? I have no idea. This is getting real creepy. That's for fucking sure. Ah, the squeaky Please dog didn't alert him. Be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll oh. be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. Ugh. So he did kill Mary Colden. Wow. I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for all your friends. You should envy her. Murderer! This madness must stop. We have a gun? Whoa. The fuck? Golden? What the shit? Wait. Oh god, her neck's like... I don't know, it looks broken. And Fuller's not here anymore. Fantastic. Oh boy. Um, I don't know if I want to walk into this. 
Oh, okay. What in the fuck? I'm very confused. God, this is just really getting creepy. Oh my god, where are we? Hmm? Oh. Wait. Hmm. What the fuck? That's so creepy. It's a picture. A painting. But it shows Pierce in it. Lots of blood. Oh, nice. Limbs. Oh, God. Who the hell is singing? Uh oh. She's alive? Can you speak? How? What the hell is that? Oh, her son's doll. Not gonna lie, she's kind of in a dump. Not the nicest looking place, I can say that for sure. <laughs> Sarah. He gave him the gold and I the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no, no. What? Let's get you out of here. It comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. Great. A violent living. She speaks in colors. Vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. What the fuck is this? Valid S-A-N requirements. Oh! Because I'm insane. Lovely. You're not exactly a prisoner. I have seen the same color. It was not as vivid as you said. Ah. A pale copy. A discarded spawn. Do you know what it was? Tell me. I can't. We should not call his name. Terrible, terrible consequences. All right. Come with me. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go before your husband finds us. Oh, yeah. I was wondering, like, who he meant. Like, before who finds us? Oh, it boy. Was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. Holy shit, she's on the move. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. All right. I'll get out my uh, lighter. Oh. What the? Just won't get far. You won't get far. Get a fucking shift on Sarah, Jesus. Made it. Okay. Woo! Hey, Kill Camp. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Wait. 
The machine. The machine. It's the green. The decaying one. What? The gas. Yes. 